The Rebel Assembly at Karinska Institute has today decided to award the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2012 jointly to John B. Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka for the discovery that mature cells can be reprogrammed to become pluripotent. This year's Nobel Prize is a controversial one and it is rewarded to scientists in the field of stem cell research. John B. Gurdon discovered in the early 60s that he could take an egg cell on a frog and replace the immature cell nucleus with a mature frog intestinal cell nucleus. The modified egg cell grew into a normal tadpole and the DNA of the mature cell still contained all the information required to grow into all cells of the frog. John Gurdon made a remarkable discovery 50 years ago uh, that the nucleus of a mature cell contains all the information needed to build any cell in the body. Forty years later, in 2006, Shinya Yamanaka discovered that one can reprogram mature stem cells in mice to become stem cells that can become any cell type in the body. We think that this is an absolutely fantastic discovery. Uh, it, it has uh, uh, two important components and one, one uh, and this is really important for us, is its importance for the basic understanding of how cells become specialized. So it refers also to uh, and helps us to understand uh, really important basic biology and medicine. These stem cells appear to be the equivalent of embryonic stem cells. Stem cell research has been a subject of controversy because to obtain embryonic cells, embryos must be destroyed. Professor Yamanaka's method is able to obtain primitive cells without killing embryos. The discussion of ethics regarding stem cell research and cloning continues to be controversial. Several states in the U.S. have banned the research on stem cells, and the EU also has restrictions. NTD News, Stockholm, Sweden.